Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name's Kim and today I have the Fairy Loot YA box to unbox for you. So, let's do this quick because I'm on my lunch break, hence I look different. But let's crack her open and see what we've got. It's a little bit damp on the edges because the delivery driver left it out in the rain. First we have, oh, from Blood and Ash mug. Okay, let's get into this and have a look. Oh, I'm in, okay. You can just see my cat's whiskers. She's very intrigued. <laughs> Smell good, does it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, and on the inside, there's the dagger. Oh, very good, very good. And she's now going to go and play with all the packing. Uh, we have ooh, a snow oak pendant. Designed by Jez Hawk. Hey, it's silver! Yay! That's actually really pretty. Like a tree. Oops. There we go. Oh, she's joined us again. That's pretty. I like that. That's very nice. Okay. Next we have, oh, we have another pencil case. Don't know how many pencil cases I can use, but I can. We have, here we go. The stars incline us, they do not bind us. Chloe Gong. Same front and back. I do like the pencil cases because they're quite soft on the inside. Don't know what I use that for, but okay. We have, ah, the spoiler card, which is usually on the top. There we go, all the spoilers on the back there. The theme this month, Morally Grey. Okay, we'll the book to one side for a moment. We have, oh, the beautiful foil art print. Quite like that, very pretty. I don't know what that's inspired by. Okay, so the pencil case is inspired by these Violet Delights. Will art print Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. Okay. And the pendant is mentioned in The Black Witch Chronicles by Laurie Forrest. I don't think I've heard of that one. And of course, we have the two tarot cards. Every Fair Loot, you do get two tarot cards, so eventually you have a full deck. We have the Two of Stars and the Ace of Stars. And these this month are Imani as the ace and Taha and Quaid characters from Spice Road, which I haven't read yet. And there we go. Okay, let's get into the book baggy. Seems like a thin one this month. Let's go down the back. Okay, we have the art print there with letter from the author on the back. We have the fairy scoop for this month. Has an author interview in there, some upcoming books. Has the photo challenge for Instagram. It has next month's theme, which is eternal. In this box, you can expect items inspired by the bear and the nightingale, kingdom of the wicked, and there'll be two phantom neutral items. We are beyond excited to reveal that one of the phantom neutral items is designed by the Quirky Cup Collective. Okay. Featured book is a gripping murder mystery set in a dark fantasy world 
where a killer is being hunted, an evil power threatened threatens to devour everything and the two characters are forced to confront their pasts. Oh. Okay. We should also have in here. Yep, we have the bookmark for this month, which matches the spoiler card. Very pretty. And then we have the book, which goes up that way. Okay. So the book for February is Ooh. City of Nightmares. Welcome to the City of Nightmares. Rebecca Sheffer. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. I do like the colours, that's pretty. Spine. And the rear. Ooh. Face your fear or become your nightmare. Oh, okay. You have like a kind of ombre on the top. That's sort of ombre -y. you can't really see it. And then you have matte down the side. That's pretty. It kind of looks like a pterodactyl. Mm. Okay, let's take this off. We've got nothing on the reverse of the dust jacket. We do have pretty end papers. Front and rear. Okay. And the hardcover is printed. There we go. It is a pterodactyl. Pterodactyls is one of my favourite dinosaurs. Okay, so I'm intrigued even more right now. Open her up and we have oh, skull and a signature. Let's see how long we are. No page number on the last page, it's acknowledgements. 374 pages. Oh no, it's the epilogue. 374, epilogue, 369, normal. Okay. And it doesn't really fill the page, so it shouldn't take too long to read. Hmm. There we go. Let's pop her back in the dust jacket and we can tell you what this one's about. Okay, now we'll go for the cute author picture there. Okay. Alright. That's why he's done it. <laughs> Ever since her sister became a man eating spider and slaughtered her way through town. 19-year-old Ness has been terrified. Terrified of some other nightmare murdering her and terrified of ending up like her sister. Because in Newham, the city that never sleeps, dreaming means waking up as your worst fear. Whether that means becoming a nightmare that's monstrous only in appearance or transforming into a twisted, unrecognisable creature that terrorised the city, no one is safe. Ness will do anything to avoid becoming another victim, even if that means laying low among the friend, friends of the restful soul, a questionable organisation that may or may not be a cult. It's going to be a cult, isn't it? Uh, but being a member of this maybe cult has a price. In order to prove herself, Ness cons her way into what's supposed to be a simple job for the organisation only for it to blow up in her face, literally. Tangled up in the aftermath of an explosive assassination, now Ness and the only other survivor, a nightmare boy who Ness suspects is planning to eat her, must find their way to Newham and uncover the sinister truth behind the attack, even as the horrors of past loom ominously near. Ooh, okay. Sounds odd. But sounds like something I want to read. <laughs> okay. Not bad box, fairly. Okay, so what's my favourite item? Hmm, probably the mug. Do love a mug. 
So let me know what you thought of this box. What's your favourite item? What do you think of the book and the customizations? Have you read it? Is it any good? Is it as twisted as I think it's going to be? Hmm. As always, down in my description box, you'll find a link to all of my socials. Come give me a follow on Instagram, on Twitter and on Goodreads. You can like this video, you can comment and you can subscribe if you really want to. Want to let me know you're here without actually talking to me? Why not leave a skyscraper? Skyscraper? Or what do you call that? Cityscape. Emoji. And I will see you next time. Doodles.